After class is dismissed, before the tea party, the topic of a birthday party is raised to everyone in class. Great idea. Miri agrees and with no real objections raised, the discussion turns towards actually holding it. Then, well, not everyone in class can come, right? Right, not everyone. Even though it's a class event, Rika, the host, wants everyone to join, but some people have personal plans, club activities and or committee work. It needs some scheduling. Still, we only have three days. I know it's sudden, but what kind of present should we get them? A present? Isn't on the agenda, but a birthday party needs presents, right? Shuhane san, you must remember getting presents at parties, right? Yeah. I don't. But I can tell them, but I can't tell I've never been to a party before. So, a present. Obviously, it's best to get each of them a present they'd really like, but it might be hard to afford a present for each twin. So, guess we should get them something they would both enjoy? See, that's pretty difficult to say. Certainly, it's tough to decide which would be a better present, one or two. What would Ichigo san and Ringo san even want? That's the thing, we don't really know that boy yet, the old one's pretty easy, but the younger one... I watch Ringo as she's sleeping and yet smilingly watches the progression of a meeting. We don't know what she likes. If we give her a pillow just because she's always sleeping, it might seem like we're making fun of her. She scratches her cheek and smiles wryly. It sure is a profound problem. Realise that something even my person may seem to like could also be taken as an insult. It would be annoying if everyone gave you the same thing because that's what you like, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a good point. Even if you love bicycles, for example, you wouldn't want to get a whole bunch of bicycle seats. <laughs> I giggle as I imagine the Sasaki twins buried in a mountain of bike seats. There's also the option of giving us something related to our interests. Nice to introduce other things it was to things you like. If it were me, maybe I'd give her a painting or something. You paint me, san I like looking at paintings as well, but as well as doing some painting myself. But giving her something I painted myself would be pretty lame. No, I think it would be lovely. You think so? Just imagining myself receiving such a present makes me happy. But what would I give? A book? Well, are you writing your own novel or something? Such an absurd question to me, but I laugh and shake my head. No, no, I, I, I just love books and I, I'm just reading them. It'd be too embarrassing to write one myself. Really? I figured if you like something, you'd want to give it a try yourself. Well, we might want to have those twins, especially that hyper old one, with a book of your choice and help calm down a bit. We share a giggle, we always smile, it's refreshingly adronagous. That said something masculine in her. In a... Speaking of which, I went to a library the other day when you weren't on duty, but someone had borrowed Wuthering Heights. Uh -huh. oh, we were talking about it before, so I was curious, but it wasn't on the shelf. I was thinking, this academy must have some really smart kids with someone to borrow an untranslated English book. This is probably just a topic of conversation for, t for me, library counsellor, though. This is just a part of an incident that has been troubling me recently. Hey, what's the matter? Is something bothering you? Yeah. Actually, a library counselor was just talking about this. 
Books keep disappearing. Ah, people borrow them and don't return them? Why don't you go to their classes and tell them to return them? No, it's not that. It's not the due, it's just that you aren't even checking them out. You mean we just take the books without saying anything? That's not nice. The other classmen said they never had this happen before. So it must be one of the freshmen. It seems they started disappearing in April too. Is that so? She puts her hands on her chin, thinking hard. Worrying we'd have troubled her. I'll hold you to explain. Oh, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. We don't know, don't know for sure where I've been stolen. The other classmen also thought I misplaced them, since I'm inexperienced. Isn't that much worse? She looks at me with a furrowed brow. It's much worse being wrongly accused than if all the freshmen under, under suspicion. And we need to clear this up. She calls out to Rika, who's standing at the podium. Well, I'm taken aback. The case was stolen in library books, yes. We should put that on the agenda. Somehow it's become a big deal. Uh, it, it, it's fine. And my classmates looked at me in surprise and suddenly raised my voice. What's fine, sure, honey son? This is all a library problem, so I'll handle it. My voice trails off in quite a bit of the end there. We've already got everyone here if we just discuss it. But. We're talking about Sasaki twins' birthday. It would be rude. We'll be back. I don't know if she agrees or not, but Mayuri nods while knitting her eyebrows. At any rate, the fact is there are books missing. Everyone, please be careful. I agree. Relieved I haven't spoiled the mood. In the end, we didn't solve a matter. It wasn't turned into a big deal. But my moment of relief is fleeting. I guess this is a case of don't count your chickens before they hatch. Alright, settle down. Although I said test, I'll be seeing whether or not you can perform the basics of a bar lesson. I'm no good at ballet and I sign turn it with the word test. No, this isn't don't count your chickens, it's more out of a frying pan into a fire. Ah, bar work, huh? Miori doesn't hide her dramatic sigh. Glass giggle at her exaggerated expression. It is surprising though. Miori is agile and athletic. Perhaps because she genuinely doesn't have a knack for ballet. She's only progressed to the same level as me. At this point, even the Sasaki twins have caught up. Sister, for a bar work, what kind of dance were we performing for a test? Yes, we need to know that. Oh, well, we just begin, so there would be no dance on the test. However, she glances around as she watches the students. Because some students have been careless about the warm ups. I'll just be looking at whether or not you can do them properly. The basic exercise will be stretches using a bar, leg bends and extensions, body stretches and some light jet. Jute. Jute? It means jump. Well, if that's the case, remember the steps. 
Remember, there's no point in doing it sloppily. You must perform each step with the right posture, like you are hung from a ceiling or a string. Like you're being guided along firmly without a stumble or a wobble. Miori lets out another unfeminine sound like before, but this time no one laughs. Because even if she didn't explicitly say it, we all know this test set by Sister Basket is going to be more difficult than we expected. Not breaking posture is still going to be tough. Consider about the strength is needed to move on your tiptoes. Of course, those about supporting strength will wobble. Jute, huh? Yeah, uh, that will be the biggest hurdle. Vegete requires n not just strength, but also a sense of balance. To do it without stumbling will be extremely difficult. Is there something anyone would be able to do in the first week? I wonder. Excuse me, Sister Dahlia, you said this is a test. If we fail, are we takes or... Oh yes, of course. It is a test, isn't it? She claps her hands together, though she's remembered something and smiles. Students who don't pass, I have to do extra pass practice until I get it. Practice? You mean you'll make us practice over and over until we get it right? That's punishment! Punishment? Oh, that sounds interesting too. Let me think a little more about details of the extra practice. Why do you keep giving me ideas, people? Sister Basket nods with self satisfaction, and her classmate looks at the Sasaki twi sisters reproachfully, running their mouths off. Oh no. I wonder what punishment will be. They don't really seem to care, though. What kind of punishment do you think it'll be, Suo chan? I don't know why I responded to Richigo's question like this, but... A heated one-on-one -on -one lesson with Sister Basquiat? I've been imagining a scene something like that from an old sports drama. One-on-one? One-on-one? I thought we would get a laugh, but Ichigo crosses her arms and smirks. Private instruction with Sister Basket is a pretty naughty fantasy to, fantasy to have. Huh? What, 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 what are you? This is Dali, the most popular of all the nuns. I want to think there are a lot of people who want to be taught by her one-on-one. One-on-one? -on -one? I had meant the lesson would be intense, but it seems my comment was taken the wrong way. My cheeks turn red. Please stop. I'm joking. You have your emotions on your sleeve. It's so funny. And she goes laughs loudly when Sister Basket gives her a warning. She sets out a shriek, inviting laughter from the class. <sighs> Thinking of what the practice will entail weighs on my spirits. All I can do is sigh and watch from the corner of my eye as Sister Basket announces the date of a test. Uh, perhaps because I'm feeling down. Shohani san. Someone calls my name unexpectedly and I blurt out a weird noise. Uh, sorry, looks like I startled you. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. What is it? Well, about that. She speaks evasively while twirling her hair. And I give her a curious look. She's waiting for me, so she must want me to talk. And a shyness, I wait for everyone else to finish changing. Someone's last out of the classroom. She's been waiting for me even though I was late, so she probably has a good reason. Is it because we didn't really resolve issue of missing books? Huh? I figured since you brought it up then, I acted like I didn't want to make a big deal of it. I ask if she's angry when I acted as if I wasn't important. She looks at me blankly and when her white skin slowly flushes, she waves her hand in front of her face. No, 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 I'm not mad. The reason I was waiting for you was... 
I wanted to ask if we could practice ballet together sometime. How about it? Oh yes, of course we can, Miori. The way she averts her eyes all red in her face is adorable. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bother, isn't it? Uh, plus, it, it is just just a warm-up exercise, so, so I shouldn't drag you into doing them with me. N no, that, that's not it. I mean, I mean, I'm really happy you asked me. Really? Thank goodness. I don't know what I'd have to have done if you turned me down. But, am I really the right person? If you want to practice, maybe Sasaki would be better. Did you go? No, no way. What she say if I asked her? She'd make me a butter of jokes and I wouldn't get any practice in. Oh, really? I smile, imagining the conversations we'd have to have. Oh, but. Wouldn't Rika send me a better teacher? She's an amity partner as well, after all. And she has experience. Rika? Would it be even worse? I don't want her to see how terrible I am. Miyoi says this almost bashfully. I wonder what's going on. I feel as though my heart has been shaken in my chest. Okay, then, Shirahani san. Let's start from tomorrow. I force myself to smile and nod at her. We've taken a hold of my hand. I have mixed feelings about accepting me always request. In the same way I have mixed feelings about any episode. But I will anyway. Bye bye. <laughs>